Last Wednesday, India held a anti-satellite test. Oh. Now this test created a cloud of orbital debris that's flying in low Earth orbit. And so when I think of orbital debris that they're tracking, it's the size of my fist, several, several pieces of that. Now that's potentially of high risk to NASA assets and more importantly to our NASA astronauts. What's NASA's reaction to that? It is absolutely true that intentionally creating orbital debris fields is not compatible with human spaceflight. Here's what we know about the most recent direct ascent anti-satellite test that was done by India. We know that we have identified 400 pieces of orbital debris from that one event. That's what's been identified. Now all of that cannot be tracked. What we are tracking right now, objects big enough to track, we're talking about 10 centimeters or bigger, about, about 60 pieces have been tracked. In other words, they've got a tracking number and, and we're able to keep, keep up with where they are. Of those 60, we know that 24 of them are going above the apogee of the International Space Station. That is a terrible, terrible thing to create an event that sends debris in an apogee that goes above the International Space Station. And that kind of activity is not compatible with the future of human space flight that we need to see have happen. We are charged with commercializing low Earth orbit. We are charged with enabling more activities in space than we've ever seen before for the purpose of benefiting the human condition, whether it's pharmaceuticals or printing human organs in 3D to save lives here on Earth, or manufacturing capabilities in space that aren't, you're not able to do in a gravity well. Like, all of those are placed at risk when these kind of events happen. And when one country does it, then other countries feel like they have to do it as well. So, Patrick, I'm with you. I get it. I understand it. It's unacceptable. And NASA needs to be very clear about what its impact to us is.